In today's video we're having a look at the Depstech cordless rotary tool. Depstech have kindly sent this through to me to have a look at and give an honest opinion and review of their product. It comes in a nice case that you can keep everything in, has two catches on it and everything can get stored within it so it keeps it neat and tidy and in one place. The unit itself feels nice in the hand and you can use it comfortably either in this position it has two finger grips on either side so you can use it as a pencil and mark down on it or you can put your thumb over the top of it and use it with a bit more force if you're grinding or doing anything that needs a little bit more force towards it. Try to make sure that you don't cover up the air vent on it but the thumb grips are nicely to the side that it keeps the air vents open. The unit itself has a built-in battery. It's a 2 amp hour 8 volt. The nice thing is it's USB-C charged. I like products that are using USB-C now because it's very universal and it accepts the fast charge. This battery charges between 32 degrees and 113 degrees or 0 Celsius to 45 Celsius. If it's outside of this range, the unit will wait for the temperature of the battery and the motor to come down to that temperature before it starts charging. On the unit, if we turn it on and lower the speed down, we have the power lights at the bottom. We have four power lights which slowly deplete as the power goes down. Then we have the buttons to increase and decrease the speed. We go from 5,000 to 15,000 to 20,000, 25,000 and 30,000 revs per minute. On the front of it we have the locking mechanism to lock so you can undo and do up the front collet. The collets it comes with, it comes with four collets in total ranging in size of 1.6 millimeters, 2.3 and then we have two at 3.2 millimeters which is the general size so it's nice that it comes with multiple collets. To change the collet just take the front screw off pop the collet in and then pop the locking nut back over the top. From there take your piece, pop it into the tool, do it up by hand and then just give it a little nip with the supplied spanner. Doesn't need much, it just needs a little nip up to keep it tight. In the set we get a USB-C charging cable, a nice selection of cutting discs, sanding discs and polishing pads. We have a deflector for the grinder. We have two brushes, a stainless steel and a nylon brush. We have three HSS drill pieces and also a drywall drill piece. This is handy if you're cutting out some drywall to fit an electrical socket or something. You can use the depth gauge that comes with it as well so that you're only cutting through for the depth of the plasterboard. It comes with the four collets which I've already shown. This item with the screw end on it is for the polishing pads. These three are for the different discs. And then we've got five different abrasive stones. We've got some diamond bourbon pieces and also a wood carving piece. And then this one on the end here is for the sandpaper to fit onto. This cordless rotary tool also has a stool feature on it. If the unit stalls and it frees up within a couple of seconds, it will automatically restart 
if it stalls for about three seconds, it will then turn itself off to protect the motor. You then turn the unit back off again and turn it on. To change the tool, just depress the lock button at the front, use the spanner and just undo the unit and then the tool will pull straight out. One nice little tool it comes with, it comes with a little baby diamond blade which means that it won't reduce down in size as you're cutting through the material. If we pop a cutting disc on, on the end of the spanner, there's a little screwdriver fitting on it. And you use this to put your cutting discs on. Underneath the screw at the top, it comes with two nylon washers. You want to make sure that a washer goes on both sides of the cutting disc. Again, you don't have to tighten it up too much, just enough that the nylon washers are tight. Now, if we undo this front guard here, we can then put the deflector on the front and this just basically screws straight onto the thread at the front of the tool. When that's tight, you can still move the guard around so it's in the correct position. With the guard on, if we then turn it on and put it on full power, we can then use it to cut through this piece of metal. And that's cut through that quite quickly and nicely. And that's a good couple of millimetre thick piece of steel. This little depth gauge will be very handy if you're cutting through plasterboard to put an electrical socket in or if you were trying to drill a hole to an exact depth in a piece of wood or metal. If you put the drill piece in first, and then tighten it up, and then put the depth gauge over the top, To set the depth gauge, all we do is just put it on a level surface, undo the screw on the side until the drill piece touches the level surface. This is now flat across the top. If you have a look at the measurement there, for me it's at four millimetres. If I wanted to be able to drill into a piece of wood exactly six millimetres, I would drop this down to ten. on the gauge on the side and now this is now six millimeters from that edge and you could then drill straight down six millimeters and it will automatically stop. My first impressions of this tool is very good and for the DIY market I don't think you can do any better. They have a promotion going on at the moment on Amazon with 30% off if for some reason this promotion isn't going on in the country that you live in, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get a discount code from you from Depstech. For everything you get for the price, this tool is phenomenal. They also do endoscopes and they have very good reviews on their endoscopes on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below to this rotary tool and also to a couple of their endoscopes that they sell on Amazon. And I don't think you can go far wrong using this company. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Have a good week.